Good morning. Today I have no plan for the yoga, so we're just going to flow as we flow. If you want to flow as you flow, that is totally cool too. Let's begin on our mat. Let's start standing up today. So at the top of your mat, come on, let me a jump. We're going to focus on the four corners of our feet. So first, plant your upper inner oh, yeah. corner with a big toe on the earth, and then stretch that out to the outer okay. edge of your heel. Okay. Yeah, to the upper pinky toe, and then back to the inner part of the heel, and really feel grounded there. Maybe even have a nice slight bend in your knees here. I like to lift my toes up off the ground to feel those four points and then lay my toes back on the earth. Just take a moment to breathe in our mountain pose. Being here in this moment and giving thanks to ourselves for taking the time to be on the mat. do uh, some salutation and then we're going to end with pigeon to focus on our hips and that root chakra. I'm really feeling the feeling the need to grow today. Let's inhale, arms up. And then exhale, keep your bottom body where it is and feel as though your arms are being pulled forward and then down. Inhale, you can plant your hands on your legs if you'd like for a halfway lift, just keeping that back nice and flat. And then on the exhale, you're gonna release again. Inhale, plant your hands on the mat, step back with the right foot, step back with the left foot into a downward dog. Take a few breaths here. You can pedal out your dog. You can blow up to the flank to make sure your dog is the right size. And back again. Good job. And then we are going to lift our right foot up toward the sky. So planting that left foot firmly on the earth, lifting that right leg up. Beautiful. We're going to bend the knee, open up the hip, kind of pointing that right knee up toward the sky as you look over your left shoulder and say hello to your feet. And I know I put a foot mask on my feet, so they are kind of peeling right now. <laughs> Straighten that leg again and square those hips and then gently, as softly as you possibly can. If you have to use your hands, that's okay. Plant your right foot between your hands at the top of your mat. This time, instead of letting our left knee fall to the earth, we're going to take our strength and bring our arms up with the front leg still bent. Here, our feet should be in line. If you're having trouble balancing, move them outward a little bit. You should still be able to see our big toe. The knee should be hiding the rest of the toes and the knee should be directly over your, what's that called, ankle. Feeling powerful and strong here. And on the exhale, plant the left heel on the earth at a 45 degree angle, keeping that right leg bent. Arms outstretched, gazing over that right hand. Specifically over that right middle finger. You are a warrior. We are warriors. Trace your left hand down your left leg, pointing your right arm up toward the sky. Inhaling here. And then as you exhale, Bring that right elbow to the knee or the right hand to the mat. Oh, you can let her in if you want. 
Left hand up toward the sky. And then as you exhale, trace that left hand back down the left leg. Straightening, go in. Well, don't leave the door open. Straightening the right leg, stretching that right hand up toward the sky. And then we're gonna move into a triangle. Mika, shut the door. Right hand down to the mat. And we out on. It feels good out there. Yeah. I agree, but we don't want a little warm air out. Left hand up. Oh. And then we're going to bring our hands back to either side of our right foot. Straighten those back toes. And we're going to step our right foot back. So to the left. And then we're going to lower through Chaturanga. You can also move through and touch your knees, chest, and chin at the same time. I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna lower your knees, just your chest and your chin. So you should have one, two, three, four, five. Well, plus the other side anyway. <laughs> Only those many points touching the other. What I really like to do from here is unravel like a wave. So you're gonna lift your top body up as you allow your bottom body to come all the way down as well as you can. Oh, I don't think I explained that very well, but hey. Come into a cobra. You can do baby cobra if it feels good, like big cobra. Or if you did chaturanga, you're going to do an upward facing dog. Like so. Jack up. <laughs> Move back to a down facing dog. And then we're going to walk, step, jump, or float if you can to the top of the mat. And still working on both but you gotta practice. So on that, I'll just like, see how high up I can kick my legs. And if I came to like go there, it's always possible. No, that's it. You can practice with me. No. Why not? It's not hard. Not too hard. Your mat's right there. All right. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Oh. Oh, let's do the other side. Inhale. Exhale, drop your hands. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, feels like you're being pulled forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant your hands. Step back with your right hand. Step back with the left. Plant that right foot on the mat. Inhale, that left leg up toward the sky, keeping the leg square. I'm going to do that. And then bend the knee, open up the hip, stacking the hip. Look over that right shoulder and say hello to your toes. And then gently step that left foot between your hands at the top of the mat. Beautiful. Now we're going to use that power, use that internal fire, squeezing into our center to come up to standing. And again, make sure we can just see our big toe, maybe the toe next to it. Arms up. Oh, the birds are actually eating the seed. They must be hungry. Inhale, and then as you exhale, plant that right heel on the earth at a 45 degree angle. Bring our arms out. Working over those left fingertips. Exhale, draw that right hand down your right leg, left hand up towards the sky. And as you exhale, plant your right hand on the mat inside or on your right knee, left hand. Sorry, left hand up to the sky, my gosh. Not right now. On your next exhale, trace your right hand down the right side of your body, left hand up. If you're hungry, go get a banana. Okay. <laughs> Exhale. 
your hand, the left hand to the mat, or right hand to the mat. Sorry if I missed something, I got a little distracted. And then step back. This time, see if you want to do a uh, chaturanga. I didn't use chest and chin the first time because I realized I definitely didn't even warm one. So <laughs> we just went right to it. Okay, so chaturanga, you're going to keep your plank position. Feel the energy being pushed out from your heels. Keeping those elbows in toward the body as you slowly lower down with your breath, but don't touch all the way to the floor. And then from here, you're going to push through to an upward base. Yeah, they did. Like them. Taco to go to the other side. good. Okay. And exhale. Down no, facing and dog. Don't no, open it. Okay, I'll help you open. Can you take one video out? Step or jump oh. to the top of your mouth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. Exhale. And start center. Or hands to banana. Okay. Ah. Let's move into our delicious pigeon pose. And when we're moving into this pose, also think about something that you may want to let go and release that you may be holding onto those hips. Kind of dig into that feeling right now, if you're in a space to do so. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step back with the left, step back with the right. Inhale that right foot up toward the sky. Exhale as you bend the knee and place the right knee right behind that right hand and that ankle behind the left hand. Shimmy that bottom body down, untuck those toes. If you want to have your foot more close to your body and that feels better for you, that works as Mom, well. Before we surrender, it's though. Odd, it's odd. It's a little bit up. Feel your strength here. So opening up that heart. How high up you can sit. And then exhale. Allow your body to fall gently over. You're like, if you want to stay on your hey, elbows it's here, you can. Super hard. But just keep practicing. Keep trying. I'm doing yoga right now. Like, no, no, no. And then if you want to create a nice little pillow for your head, you can put your hands together. Oh, I'm just surrender. As always, modify it as you need to. If this doesn't feel good to you, Move maybe into a child's pose. Whatever feels good. I think I like to plant my palms on the earth here because it's like I'm sending all that tension that I'm releasing from my hip down into the earth to be neutralized and I can suck it back up like, like mama earth is our outlet or something. Anyway. Enjoy this breathing. You may stay here, but if you want to move into mermaid with me, let's do it. Bending that left knee, pointing the left toe up, and then releasing it, just kind of warming that up a little bit. Now we're going to again push our arms up, heart center being Daddy. out the word hip up. And then bending the left. Not right now, my guy. I'm doing yoga right now, Mika. Please, can you wait? Lifting that left arm up toward the sky. Can it grab onto you may have that jacket left foot? Too, jacket. Oh, I mean. it, it's okay. You can get it. Okay. But no more chocolate. No more chocolate. He, he found the chocolate chips. Okay. So we're grabbing that left foot. We're going to 
get it in that little elbow. If it works, if it doesn't work, hey, that's all good. We want to remember though to keep our chest pointing forward. Maybe you can reach that right arm up toward the sky. Maybe it can bend and grab the other hand. I think it's ideal to stay in poses for like three breaths, but you do what feels good to you. Three, cool. A lot. Yeah, okay. And release that. And push back up into downward facing dog from here. Like so. Beautiful. Walk the dog out a little bit. And we're going to do the other side. Lift that left foot up towards the sky. Doggy, do that. Doggy, do that. Doggy, do this. Three legged dog. They stretch like this. And then bring that left knee up toward your hand. Left knee behind the left wrist. Right ankle behind the right wrist. Shimmy your little right leg back and down. Before we surrender, open up. Take note of what emotions may be hiding in these gorgeous hips of yours. Nice, deep breath, and on the exhale, fall forward. You also take your time as you're releasing. Maybe start on your elbows and you can work your way down a little bit more. Just working with your breath, playing with your body. See if you can let go of something a little bit more. Like, if you don't want to let it go, don't tense back up again. But just try, challenge yourself. I think that's what yoga is about. When I'm watching Micah do speech therapy and he's getting really frustrated that his mouth isn't making the right movement, and it's not how we want it to be. It's just making that practice, just like these are poses. They weren't how I wanted them to be, but as we take our practice, as we do our practice, we get closer and closer. And eventually we're there. It's like, that's what makes it so amazing. That's what makes it feel so good. Okay, we've been here for a while. If you want to move into mermaid pose, which if you did mermaid on the other side, please do it on this side, or at least try so that your body is even. Bending that right knee a few times. Just warm her up. And then we're going to see if we can hold on to that right foot with our right hand. And can that right foot go into our elbow? Left arm up, bending the elbow, holding on. Stop being larger, jump. Stop being larger. Oh, that sounds fun. Glass. I did. And then instead of going back into downward facing dog, let's just scooch into a tabletop pose because we did not do cat or cow at all today. Inhale, cow. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. And exhale, cow. Go, go, go. Inhale, cow. Yeah. Just because I feel like doing it, you might want to shimmy back to the back of the mat a little bit. See exactly where you are in your tabletop pose. But you're going to walk your arms all the way up to the top of your mat. We're going to go into puppy pose. So you're going to let your chin and your chest touch the earth. Really, like, this is a heart opener. Oh my god. Breathe in here. A lot. Gosh. Gosh. Gently come out of that. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's move into cross the leg. Yeah, Jay. And we're going to do some shape circles. I'm going to face you. Boom. Hands on the knees. Keep our root chakra really rounded here. 
So and you're gonna move left. with your breath. Am I calling her? I think these are actually Sufi circles, not Shiva circles. Sufi circles bring us closer to the divine. So I like to inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Say in. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You're practicing. I like it. And then we're going to switch our feet and go the opposite direction. Not again. Not again. And this time, let's start with our circles. Pretty big. Big. And slowly start to make them smaller. Yeah. As. And eventually we're gonna end up just sitting. My God. All the way. My God, can you please be quiet for like five more minutes? It won't make us really any breath. All right, my beautiful friends, let's move into a Shavasana. It is something that I could just log off and say, you guys do it, but it is crucial. Yeah. Yesterday, I didn't do Shavasana like I said I was going to do. I was just sitting up and like speaking with you guys. Like, I'm definitely telling my body, Micah, Micah, I need your voice off right now, okay? Voice off. They have to hear me. I'm recording it right now, okay? Thank you. So, laying back on our mat, their feet are going to be on the corners of our bottom of the mat. You can get a little pillow for your head if you want. Allow your hands to be facing up if you want to receive information. Down if you're wanting to ground. You could even put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Um, I really like to push on the back of my hand to move my shoulder blades closer to each other. Micah, Micah, go in the room and do that, okay? You're being too noisy right now. Go in the room. Oh, there No more. And the goal here isn't to really make our body feel anything. It's just to challenge ourselves to see how relaxed we could possibly be. This is corpse pose. Seriously, like pretend to play dead. <sighs> Sometimes when I'm laying here, it's so easy for me to think that I'm already as relaxed as possible. Like, obviously I'm laying down. Like, what else could I possibly, what tension could I possibly be holding onto? But I'm always amazed when going through the body scan, starting at the crown chakra, how much I am subconsciously holding on to, like unintentionally. I'm not even aware that I'm holding on to like so much tension in my shoulders and my legs. Like, just challenge yourself. Let go for even a moment. It's just a moment. Just let it. Kitty is back. You stay there. I'm not the kitty. You should ask them. cues that really help me to tune in to this moment are paying attention to any wind blowing on the inner corners of my ears and also paying attention to 
the breath from my nose on the upward one. Please continue to stay here if it feels like you would benefit from that. And if you're ready, and begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Leave your left that body to go. Gently. Bring your heels back onto the earth and allow all of your body to roll onto your right side. Pushing gently up to a seated position. Your eyes are still closed. Take your time opening them. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. The light in me honors the light in you. And again, I told myself I'd wake up early this morning to do yoga at seven, and I didn't because I woke up at like six thirty and it was still pitch black dark outside. <laughs> I really want to make a habit in Ayurveda they say you know wake up before the sun it can be super beneficial and I believe it because I woke up at 8 30 this morning and I was like oh man all those hours I could have been doing something I was sleeping but Ayurveda also believes in sleep as being one of the main three pillars of healing so it's sleep sex or creative energy and food so anyway as long as we're channeling all of these in our highest selves we will be feeling optimally amazing. I hope you have a beautiful day. Make life magic. Follow me for more yoga videos. Peace out.